Welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. We are in the process of learning five existentials that can help in our data analysis process in phenomenological research. In previous video, we talked about lived time, lived space, lived relationality. Now, the fourth existential is, you could see, I wrote it here, lived time. So as a phenomenological researcher, you reflect on the question, which is how time is experienced by participants. How our research participants are experiencing time with reference to the phenomenon which is being investigated. When you think about time, there are, we can categorize time in two, two kinds of time. One is obviously the objective time, which is, you can also say clock time. So that is more universal objective time that we, we look through our watches and say, this is the time right now. And the other kind of time is subjective time. As you know, in subjective time, it's how we experience time, how we psychologically experience time. That's what we call it subjective time. And in other words, we could say it's phenomenological time. So you may have noticed that we psychologically experience time differently than the objective time. For instance, you may have noticed that when you travel, let's say you are traveling a long distance, five hours journey, the experience of the first half an hour is going to be different experience of time as compared to the last half an hour of, this, uh, of your journey. If you are spending time with somebody you love, you admire, you like to spend time with, the time uh, flies. Versus when you are with somebody uh, or you are in a meeting, which is very hard to go through, then uh, the, the sense of time is, is very, very different. So our psychological experience of time varies based on our, uh, based on our experience, based on our uh, goals, based on our overall how we sense and experience the phenomenon. So that's what we are interested in as a phenomenological researcher. We are interested in subjective experience of time. Now, when you think about time in the context of being a phenomenological researcher, it's not always time that you look into the data, but it might come up the theme of subjective time in many ways, such as when participants talk about the goals, what goals they have and how, how many of those goals they have achieved, how many they are in the process, how many are not achieved yet. So when they talk about these goals they have set for themselves, they, they are talking about timeline as well. So that's the, also when people talk about their plans, their, their future plans or their current plans. Again, it is another way to, they are talking about the subjective experience of time. When people talk about changes they have observed over the time, over years, over months. So what they are, when they describe the changes, they are also referring to the subjective experience of time. When people talk about growth experiences, so obviously growth and change happens in a sequential manner. So this is another way to refer to the subjective experience of time. When people talk about their wishes, this is also referred to the subjective experience of time. So when you look at your data, when you are going through the participants' experience of these topics, you may see the 
relation to the subjective experience of time uh, in participants' lived human experiences. You may remember Heidegger, who is who gave the ontological turn to phenomenology. Heidegger, his, his main book that where he shared his ideas on phenomenology, this book is named as Being and Time. And his argument is being always exists in time. When there, where there is no time, there is no being. So when you think about our existence, our human experience that we are having uh, in our day-to-day -day life, those experiences are placed in time. So when we explore lived human experiences, we should focus on the time as well because being and time goes together. Now let's uh, take the same example we have been taking it to explore. So black women's lived experiences in academia. Now think about when you are collecting data from these faculty members, they might talk about the experience of time in the sense like their goals, uh, what they want to achieve, uh, the experience of time in terms of what they want to do, in the next couple of years. So again, they are talking about the time. And also, they may talk about the pressure of time as well. Pressure of time in the sense like, in academia, you have to balance your time between teaching, research, service. And sometimes it's a lot to handle and navigate between these different components. And if you are somebody who comes from a marginalized background, you may also want to spend some time for advocacy work as well. So one theme that may emerge related to lived time is pressure of time that they may experience in academia. They can also talk about how they experience time, the subjective experience of time in moments of exclusion. So when a black women faculty experiences exclusion or alienation, let's say in departmental context or broader university context on campus, how those moments are felt, how time felt in, in those moments of exclusion, alienation. So that can be explored as well. Time can also be this theme can emerge in terms of uh, the growth and development of black women faculty members. So how these women are experiencing their journey in academia. So let's say if you are talking to a woman who is, has just spent 15 years in academia, now this women can talk about how when she started her journey as an academician, and now after 15 years of uh, being uh, an instructor, how that journey has shaped, how growth and development has happened. And obviously, it is in the context of lived experiences. Another theme that I have often seen, particularly in the context of academia, is balancing your personal versus professional life. Again, the theme here is implicated with time. So how you balance your time so that you have time for your family, for your personal matters, at the same time, giving enough time to your professional work as well. So these are some of the themes which may come up when you explore this phenomenon from the existential of lift time. So I hope this brief explanation has given you ideas about when you explore, when you have, uh, when you do your own phenomenological study, what are some themes that you want to focus on, how you can use lived time as a template to analyze your data uh, from your participants. I'll see you in another video talking about the fifth existential lived 
things. Till then, have a good rest of the day. I'll see you soon.